Hello ladies and gentlemen, Slice Hardshot here, and uh, today we are hunting Red Feather Falls. I am uh, in the multi-species competition, but uh, that competition is <clears throat> highest scoring of all the animals shot past 150 meters. So, I did end up purchasing a couple new rifles. This is the 300 Nosler that I never did end up getting. But uh, I brought that and I got the S shoots or that other German camouflage rifle. But uh, evidently I thought that it would take this scope, the 9x40mm, but it doesn't. So I got to get a scope for that one now. And uh, they had a little tweak today or whenever they dropped it I haven't played the game in a few days that the OPEX on the on the uh, tracks or in the or the domes you know the color are gonna be a little bit more vibrant I guess if you want to say uh, they're a little easier to spot um, uh, I don't like that you know I want it to be a little bit more you know I want it to I like the effort that you got to take to find the other trails yeah it can be frustrating and yeah sometimes you lose animals you know but that's reality and uh, I don't want them to keep coming out with things to make the game easier um, I don't know how you guys feel about that but uh, that's just kind of how I feel about it but anyways just kind of break down the situation here um, you know, I usually don't start the uh, video unless I got some action, and I have a moose somewhere off in that direction. Not really sure when he's going to show himself. I did call moose call and put out some moose scent, and I have a white tail buck, which I better call again actually, coming from that direction. But, um, yeah, the 150 meters on the uh, multi-species competition, it's really hard to do when, you, when you're hunting these thick areas uh, like this. So, now I have been in the game for an hour already. I did start at 5 in the morning. Ooh, that's a female. I don't know where his male went. He did call me after I put the tree stand and the moose has. So, I'm hoping that scent's still working on that moose a little bit. Unless he's a monster. Let's go ahead and give him a call back, too. Um, <clears throat> I brought the tripod and a tree stand with me. I got the new binoculars. I'll show you those in just a second. Well, I got the new binos too. They're the uh, rangefinder binoculars, which are awesome because now you don't have to take up two slots when you're a bow hunter like me. Um, but you know, you still want that nice wide visual range. Oh, there's that buck right there. Ah, he's just a little guy. Darn it. wonder about that moose and he's going to be showing himself now, I thought that buck was coming from that direction actually I'm wondering if this is a different one sure would like to see a big old wreck I am trophy hunting so I probably won't shoot this buck but he is going to come right to me and if he runs off he's going to spook off that moose thought that moose would be making his way by now yeah I might just have to shoot this buck in the neck drop him
that moose could be showing up any time. Oh, stop. No, don't turn around. Stop right there. No. Drop it right there. Alright. Let's see if that Mr. Moose is still on his way here. Now that the weather cleared up a little bit. <clears throat> That's a female doe. White tail. Hope that moose didn't run off for some reason. I don't think I don't have the the wind in my favor very much, but he would have had to spook off pretty far. I hear something. Oh, is it that doe already? Oh, nice buck. Whoa, didn't expect him. I haven't heard him. Wait, oh, that was the one. No, he ain't that big, is he? He's got a big old tall rack on him, though. Pretty good looking. He's just coming through these oak flats, eating, eating some acorns. Pretty sure that moose he would have called back. Alright, I got this white tail here. This is classic tree stand hunting right here. Still waiting for that moose all right he just grunted yep that was the one see I thought he was coming out that way that little one just kind of just come moseying in look at him eating that's pretty cool let's get the bow out let's play it out realistically looks like he's gonna walk by right by uh, broadside or quartering away just like we like boy he sure is eating in that one spot real good <clears throat> I can see his antler just right underneath his right there at the tip of my arrow yep you guys see it alright he's moving there we go that's a perfect shot right there guys look at that let's get him nice and back oh he's moving Don't stop with the tree behind. That's that's classic right there. That's what always happens in the field. In real life, man, <laughs> you think that they just always do that. All right. Oh, and now he's going to sit there and eat for a while. Man, he's got that front leg forward. All right. Now he's moving away. That's a deep quartering shot. I don't know how the game's gonna say intestine on that one. <laughs> Texas heart shot. They call them that one because that's where everybody shoots them down there in Texas. They say <laughs> everybody thinks that their uh, heart's back there, I guess. Alright, well he's just feeding through. I don't know what happened with that moose. Yeah, these uh, rangefinder binos guys, they cost seven bucks. 700 EM money. Um, little pricey. 
I was, you know, kind of expecting five hundred, five dollars. Oh, we got a nice dough. There's that dough out there. Well, it sure would be nice to get the, uh, get a real nice animal. I am in all the, uh, other competitions that are going on for Red Feather Falls anyway. Um, the animals that are in Red Feather Falls are anyway. But, uh, so, I mean, if I just kill a big one, I'm, man, I'm really wanting that, um, that white tail gold really do I want a white I want a nice gold white tail trophy I got a white tail trophy it's bronze and uh, might be silver I don't know uh, just the top weight I think I killed a nice 200 pounder or something like that got a trophy I've only gotten one but that's alright well I got the Valentine's Day trophy but that really didn't cause for anything I thought I just saw a head a deer head up here well I'm not sure if that moose winded me or what but uh, let me go ahead and just uh, this will be a nice little cut video for you guys so we'll be back when uh, when I figure out a little bit more of what's happened Ooh, he's right at 38 yards. He's definitely still shootable. But he ain't gonna score me nothing. Nice little buck, but we'll pass. Let's do another quick scan here. Make sure ain't nothing coming. Hate to get down, take this tree stand down, and I've done that before. Watch a big old rack start taking off. All right, Guys, well, we're back, we'll and it only took about 2.3 seconds for this bad boy to come walking in. Now he's not like super monster, but he has got a nice thick rack on him. So let's just. Uh, wow, I looked over and. When I said I'm going to scan, see if anything else comes through. And look at this. How beautiful is he? Jeez, can you give me a stop, buddy? Oh, no. He's not going to stop. He's pawn shot. Oh, no, and I didn't put a... Ah. Crap. He started walking away. He was pawn shot. Crap. Looked like I got that up in his shoulder. It's the last time I saw him was right there. Shit. Alright guys, I'm not going to give him any more time. Um, hey guys, we're back, we'll back. Oh my god, it took me forever to get it. He, man, he pulled a complete 180 on me. And, uh, geez, I'm telling you, right when I was about to give up on that buck, man... Oh, I mean, I circled. I'm not kidding you. Let me just show you guys real quick. <laughs> I was all up in here. He ended up running and going this way where that red dot is right now. I was circling around and moving around all up in there. Jeez. So, <clears throat> what we're going to do is uh, we're going to try to get 150 meters from this buck and uh, take him up. Oh. There's the buck. No, I guess he wasn't the one that called. Oh, the, it rediscovered a, over there. That's that little one that after this one, this one came in afterwards. Oh, I hate it when they're like that. Let's take a look at this trail real quick. That's a little doe. Yeah, I don't know. All right. 
Oh, I was gonna guess. Actually, I did guess 145. Wow, that was a high shot. Yeah. Give me position 58, 149. Yeah, people got some nice bucks. But um, I I did the whole time I was circling that hilltop. I uh. you out of there okay all right not bad just pick up your nose a little all right those are gone Now that elk, I didn't bring an elk call for some reason. I thought, because when I come in down here, I wasn't going to get no elk. I was just going to kind of hang out down here in this this area. But, uh, yeah, geez, that took me forever. Not really sure if I want to keep going on hunting or not. So, um, finally found that buck, geez, and, uh, I think I might do a little bit more walking. Matter of fact, I don't know. Maybe I'll hit the... I'll hit this road and start heading south. Maybe I'll, I'll want to keep going. Maybe not. We'll see what it... What kind of... That's that little buck over there. He's on the way, but we're not too interested in him. But alright, guys. Uh... I might be back, I might not. If not, uh, thanks for watching. And I do have a couple of things I'd like to talk about. Back but in, uh, actually, if I would have read that correctly, this is a blacktail um, deer up here. Not that little white tail that I thought I ran into. Yeah, so uh, I don't have a blacktail yet. Even though none of these are counting for the competition, I'm just kind of bow hunting it. <laughs> you know me, guys. I don't know. I just I haven't pulled out that 300 yet. Maybe I should take this one with the 300, but I'd have to be 150 meters from them. So he should be on the road up here. Or somewhere. He's not a bad looking one. I forgot to tell you guys. I did run into a blacktail. This is him. He just keeps on calling though. Let's see if we can get eyes on him here. Looks like that kind of slopes down up there. He's down there. So we'll circle this way. Try to stay about 150 meters from him. And this might end up being our first entry for Red Feather Falls. If I can lay eyes on him up here somewhere. There he is. Oh, not that one. All right. There we go. That's as far as it zooms in. Pretty sure he's at least 150 meters. That would have been nice to check. Where'd he go? Went behind that tree, didn't he? Oh, wrong way. Actually, it wouldn't be bad to set up the tree stand, call him back to us. should uh turn around I think that's him right there maybe not might be a tree yep 
Yeah, he's gonna come back around. Set this tree stand up right here. I think he's still, he's a hundred, hundred yards away. I don't think this will spook him, I hope not. Not a not a monster, but he's not a bad looking animal. Here he comes. He's a hundred yards now. Hundred meters. <clears throat> so he's too close for the rifle yet. anything else around yeah always always try to scan around because man just like that whitetail that I just killed uh he came in out of nowhere he didn't call or nothing there's that black tail there not a bad looking animal I mean he's yeah you know, I don't think he has the double fork though so he won't score very high he'll probably be like a 120 130 I think the double fork ones end up hitting about a 140, 150 mark. I don't know what the wind's doing. Oh, it's blowing my face. Okay, I see these leaves over here on the right. Boy, these binoculars are nice. I just really like them. Love the range, love the view. Really good. Glad I bought them. And um, oh yeah, a couple things I wanted to talk about. Now, as far as um, I can tell, what they said in their update last week was that uh, can't bring your own tree stand into somebody else's server. So I have gotten a couple extra tree stands and a couple tripods. I think I think I got two tripods. I got two ground blinds. Um, in case we end up doing some turkey hunting or whatnot, and uh, it's not official because uh, I haven't actually asked Prati specifically, but I think he's going to be down for it. We're going to do, or I would like to do a streaming, a live stream with him on our first hunt. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, get you guys involved at the same time. We'll schedule it, and uh, me and him are gonna go in and and uh, do some multiplayer hunting when that drops. I think that's gonna be awesome. Come on, Buck. Sure, taking your sweet time there. Yeah, he doesn't have the double fork on either side. That call's starting to wear off on him. He's turning around. He really likes going back that way. Is that call not going to affect you, buddy? I thought he was turning around. There he goes. Yep, not a huge black tail, but he's got antlers, so. And I'm probably just going to end this video after we kill him. <clears throat> Got a couple of them just. 
put together remember guys that uh, I just use YouTube editor right now so these videos might be split up until I can tie them together in the YouTube editor yeah how nice are these vinyls guys huh Yeah, I ended up uh, buying 5,000 EM game money for $50. And then I go into my account and realize that um, <laughs> I go to hunt and it's like, you need to be a member to hunt this area. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I don't have my membership. So then I ended up spending another 15 for three months. So I ended up spending $65 on this game today. All right, he's coming, so I think he's probably about 20 now. Yep. So we'll go ahead and get the... He's coming through the water. That looks pretty cool. Man, you could turn a little bit, guy. All right, here we go. He's hit hard, guys. I might have hit that shoulder. I don't know. I hope not. No, he's he's hurt right there. He's going down. 48 yards. Let's stick another one in him. Be a nice little target practice. Oh, that was a regular arrow anyway, wasn't it? So 48. Let's see. We got 20, 40, and 60. And did I miss him? Oh, I think he died right when I shot, actually. Intestines. Okay. I don't really know how that happened, but sure did die pretty quick for intestines. Oh, I did get him with that one, didn't I? Boom, right in his shoulder. This one was angling down, yeah, a little too deep. That's a nice hole. Jeez, look at that cut on that. Nice. Yeah, Rack's not too impressive, but he's got he's got antlers. That's not a bad shot for a 50 yarder. Kind of got him in the shoulder blade, but liver shot. First one was a body, and then a liver. Oh, 95. He was a lot smaller than I expected. All right, guys. I'll get this one posted as soon as possible. You obviously know that because you're watching it. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next hunt, guys. Later.